Today we will discuss how to install and set up a dedicated server for R Factor 2. First, we will download the steamcmd.x file from the following link. You can find the download link below this guide in the description. First we create a folder where we want to install the server. In this case, see my server steamcmd. I attach this folder to my window via quick access in order to be able to access this folder more quickly. We move the packed CMD file into the created folder and unpack it. Next, we start the Steam CMDX file and install the dedicated server for Steam. A DOS window opens and the installation starts. When the installation is finished, enter the command quit. We go back to the official user guide of Studio 397. Under setting up a dedicated server and paste and copy the highlighted installation command to install the dedicated rfactor2 server. Next we have to open the command bar by pressing Windows and R and enter CMD there. The DOS window opens again, we now enter CD, my server, Steam CMD and confirm with the enter key. Using paste and copy, we paste the command we just copied from the user guide and confirm this command with the enter key. The dedicated server for rfactor2 is now on installing. This command is also used to update the server when a new update of Studio 397 for rfactor2 has arrived. It is necessary to update the server when Studio 397 has released a new update for rfactor2. To make it easier, I created a bat file to execute this command automatically by double-clicking with the mouse. To do this, it must be in the Steam CMD folder. The bat file can be found with a download link below these instructions in the description. After installing the dedicated server for rfactor2, close the DOS window. I also pin the folder rfactor2 dedicated as quick access. Installing content via Steam Workshop. We go to the Steam Workshop to choose content for our server and create mods. In this case, we take the BMW M4 Class 1 and the Silverstone track. While downloading the content, we right-click on the content in the Steam Workshop and copy and paste the URL address of the car and the track into my prepared template in text file format to filter out the ID codes of the content. The rest of the URL address is not needed and can be deleted. The ID numbers of our content we copy again by paste and copy. After successfully downloading and installing the content, we navigate it to the following folder. See Program Files x86 Steam Steam Apps Workshop Content 365960. Oh, there you will find all your content from R Factor 2 as RFCMP file in its raw format. Now click on the path bar and expand the folder with the ID of the content you are looking for and paste it in. You will now see the folder you were looking for with the BMW M4 Class 1. Take this RFCMP file and copy it into the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated packages. We now repeat the entire process with the Silverstone track. Shortcuts. Now we create so-called shortcuts to access the rfactor2 dedicated X file more quickly. These can be found in the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated bin64. In addition, we also drag the mod mgrx file into the desktop as a shortcut. Then we navigate to the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated support tools. And also drag a shortcut from the mos2x file to our desktop. Now we paste and copy the following additional command from the official user guide into the shortcuts. To do this, we right-click on the rfactor2 dedicated x file and insert the additional command. We click on apply and close the window. We repeat the same process with the mod mgrx shortcut. Installing content via the mod manager, then we start the rfactor2 mod manager with the link mod mgrx file to install the desired content. It may well be that you do not see the desired content. Therefore, it is necessary to first look at the path in the working directory. See my server rfactor2 dedicated packages. To see the desired content and then install it. At least, this was the way I installed new content the first time. Afterwards, when starting the mod manager for the second time, proceed as follows and change to the standard path. See my server rfactor2 dedicated back. 
You will now see the M4 Class 1 and the Silverstone track. You can select both contents by holding down the control key and then installing them. After the content has been installed, we go back to the following folder in the mod manager. See my server rfactor2 dedicated packages. And delete the rfmcp files. Because they are now installed in the dedicated folder of rfactor2 and we don't want to waste unnecessary disk space. I find this the fastest and most convenient way to install and prepare content for the server. Creating mods, rfcmp files, for the rfactor2 server. To do this, we now start the MOS2x file via our shortcut. First we click on the icon, select packages directory, and make sure that the mods are installed in the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated packages. Once this is done, we now click on the following icon, create the package file. We click on the tab, create package mod. Now we have to name our mod, in this case I name it, my first server. Then we confirm our track Silverstone, and the M4 class 1 by confirming it with a mouse click, in this case we leave add other components on standard and confirm with the done tab. You can see the file size of our mod at the top right, if we confirm the vehicle in the track in the left table, we would increase the size of the mod to 1 GB from 15 KB. As we would also install the entire vehicle plus track in this mod. But this is not necessary, because we only need the entries of the track, layouts, and vehicles, paints, in our mod. Because the mod is already installed, now we can choose our layouts from Silverstone, in this case only the Endurance layout from Silverstone plus the M4 Class 1 with all available paint jobs. Then we click on the Package tab and then on the Install tab. The small icon lights up green, which means that our mod has been installed correctly. We now close the MOS2x file. Under the folder see my server rfactor2 dedicated packages, you will now find the mod you just created. We now go back to the mod manager and click on the refresh tab. Now you can see the mod, my first server in the mod manager. Starting and setting up the server. Now we can finally start our server for the first time. To do this, we activate the link rfactor2 dedicated x file on our desktop. If your Windows firewall asks for permission to allow rfactor2 access to your network, simply confirm with, allow access. This window will only appear the first time you start the rfactor2 dedicated x. In the first window we confirm ourselves as player1, and confirm our newly created mod in the lower tab. Under vehicles we also confirm our M4 as well as our track Silverstone. Under the Options tab, we can set our sessions, such as real road, weather, driving aids, flag rules, length of the various sessions, whether the AI is included and and so on. After we have set the rules for our server, we click on the load track tab and the server starts uploading. If everything is set correctly, like your ports, your server should now be visible in multiplayer mode in rfactor2. The exact settings of the ports can be found in the official rfactor2 guide. That's it. Congratulations, you have created your first dedicated server for rfactor2, but we are not quite at the end yet. If we want to provide paid content, so-called DLCs in our server, we now have to do the following, we go into the folder. C program files x86 steam steam apps common rfactor2 user data, and copy the file, server unlock bin to the following folder, see my server rfactor2 dedicated user data. Then we start rfactor2. Go into single player mode and close rfactor2 again. Next, we copy as an example from the following folder. C program files x86 steam steam apps common rfactor2 installed vehicles. The BMW M3 BTCC into the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated installed vehicles. We now repeat the process with a track. In this example we take brands hatch from the following folder. C program files x86 steam steam apps common rfactor2 installed locations. We copy brands hatch into the following folder. See my server rfactor2 dedicated installed locations.
Next we start the mod manager and see that the content is already installed. But we have not created a mod for the server. So we have to start the MOS2x file again and create a mod. We call it BTCC Brands Hatch. We select the BMW M3 BTCC, and in the next window Brands Hatch. We leave the components at default, and select only the Brands Hatch GP layout. Click on Package, and then install the mod. Now we go back to the Mod Manager, click on Refresh and see our mod BTCC Brands Hatch installed. Again we start the rfactor2 dedicated x file. And now select this just created mod btcc brands hatch. We set up our server according to our wishes and confirm with load track. In the same way, you can also provide and install third party content, both paid and free, for your server. Now we have done it. Have fun with your multiplayer races.